so I have watched the movie Felt. And by God, it is terrible. It, it, it's not just bad, it's fucking terrible. On par with The Last Airbender or R.I.P.D. Or, um, uh, what's that other film? The Room. I hate to say it, but even The Room is more entertaining. You know, the, the one that contains Tommy Wiseau. Talking about that room. Yeah. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. But anyway. This movie. Some of you are probably aware of the movie's existence thanks to the Honey Badger Brigade. They made it a uh, review ba on, based on the trailer. and I want to do that in a later video. But this movie... It is, by God, I had, I, I never seen a terrible movie, that, this bad of a movie in a long time. That's saying something. And I honestly thought that it might have some, you know, some expectations, you know, the film. I mean, I didn't really expect much because it, it was feminist propaganda. You know, I honestly thought that it would contain, like, some ideologies on how men are not taught, taught not to rape or um, how men feel entitled to women's bodies. Something like that. But no. The shit stain goes even deeper than that. And I'm surprised that this movie has received a 58% on Rotten Tomatoes. Need to break it to you, but that's being way too generous. Maybe ten percent at most, but fifty-eight percent? Come on! I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't even recommend this film to feminists because it's just goddamn awful. Okay. I, I honestly thought that this movie was going to be like, I never promised you a rose garden. Some of you might know this book and some of you don't. But allow me to summarize the book. Okay, believe it or not, I read books sometimes. Um, the book was about a girl who was suffering from schizophrenia. You know, um, she goes to this alternate world where she does crazy ritual stuff. She tends to sometimes cut her, cut herself with a sharp object. She won't even feel the pain because she's so entranced into this other world. So she needs mental, um, mental help. So she goes to this institution where they promised her to help her, but they can't guarantee the success. And over time, the the alternate reality that is within this woman's head starts to fight back. And eventually she starts getting better. She starts feeling pain whenever she cuts herself. And you know, I figure that this movie has a very similar concept, except it's going to take a much more darker turn. Like, it, it, this is the summary based off of the, of the movie. Amy is hanging on by a thread, struggling to cope with the past trauma, I mean past sexual trauma and the daily aggressions of a male dominant society, she creates grotesquely costumes alter egos that reappropriate the male form, while giving her the sense of power she craves, acting as these characters pushes her, f pushes her further into a world of her own making. When she begins a new relationship with a seemingly good guy, she opens herself up to him, but that vulnerability comes at a dangerous cost and her alter egos threaten to lash out in explosive violence. Based on the real experiences and art of co-writer star Amy Irvison, Felt doesn't just point a finger at rape culture, it takes a full swing at it, creating a feminist physiological thriller that audience that will be hard pressed to shake off. 
Yeah, it's very difficult to shake off indeed because this movie is so freaking terrible! <sighs> Just hope that my father doesn't come here yet. It has little to nothing with her alter egos. I mean, I gotta admit, it sounds very interesting. You know, to create alter egos in order to escape reality. And these alter egos would end up influencing her own life. But we don't see the alter egos at all. I mean, very rarely. It doesn't really come into play. Usually just from the beginning. Just from the beginning. The middle, there's literally nothing just just simple character development and at the end well I'm not gonna spoil it to you but there is one scene that she once again returns to her alter ego and that's probably the only scene that has at least some redemptional quality the ending scene. That's all it is. But honestly, you can cut out like at least a good 30 minutes of the film. And and then that's it. That's like... Phew, wow. It's a terrible fucking film. And yes, I do plan to review this movie. Just like a certain other critic who review movies. Now, the thing is, is that this movie was supposed to be a horror film. Not like some sort of stupid romance film that... I don't know. I mean, it looks more like a romance film. A very shitty romance film. But this... I, I, I can't do this alone. I want people to make a collab with me on this movie review. You know, I want to like make a collaboration with someone to make a movie review. Um, anyone, Teal Deer, Sagan Picard, Skeptor, um, Undoomed, um, Doctor Random McCam, Allison. Allison, f fuck, Allison Timmon, something like, uh, I can't pronounce her last name, I know it's Allison something, anyone, anyone at the matter, just anyone, but honestly, this is just ridiculous, uh, um, so, this is an open invitation for anyone who wants to join me in the movie review. You know, I'll start writing the script down as soon as I find out who wants to be in, and then I'll be like, okay, we'll do this, that. Because it is Halloween, and I want to make a Halloween special. And this film is like the perfect catalyst, the, the, the perfect way to make a Halloween special. Of course, that would mean that I will have to put every, almost every video on hold, which includes my 700, 800 sub special, um, along with some other anti-feminist videos that I have in mind. Um, like, this is gonna be one of the biggest projects that I'm gonna be working on, next to Undoom, like, even possibly even larger than my video with Undoomed. So, if, again, an open invitation for anyone to join in the movie review of Felt. And then we work something out. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.